What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. As you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail, we have an Incineroar team on our hands to show off to you guys. So if you are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, the support has been crazy. I cannot thank you guys enough. This team right here was sent in by Colton. Colton, thank you so much for dropping your team. If you guys want me to play your rental teams, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Tell me whether it's a singles or double team. Leave me the list of the Pokemon. And if you have the EV spread, send that in as well. I'm going to say this again, guys. There are three new starters that we haven't played yet. The Blastoise, the Primarina, and the Decidueye. If you guys have a team with them, send them in as well. Or you guys can make one. Those teams will have a higher chance of me playing them, considering I really want to show them off. On this team right here, we have Wimscott, Diggersby, Noivern, Milotic, Mr. Rhyme, and our boy Incineroar. Incineroar is going to be our bread and butter. We really want to show him off because he is an absolute beast. Wimscott is going to be our Tailwind Pokemon. Diggersby has a Lumberry and huge power as its ability to double its attack. It has Quick Attack and High Horsepower for Stab. Quick Attack is going to be our first turn priority move. Has Ice Punch and Knock Offs and Knock Off items. Noivern over here is Choice Specs. He's going to be very speedy. He's going to be able to do big damage with Jinker Meteor and Hurricane. And it has Flamethrower and U-Turn for coverage moves. Milotic over here is going to be our big tank right here. He's going to be our big tank for the team with Scald, Ice Beam, Recover. And it's rocking out with Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray can come up clutch. Like, like if we use it, we can Confuse Dynamax Pokemon, make them hurt themselves, waste some turns, and come up big. Mr. Rhyme over here. I'm actually excited for Mr. Rhyme on this team too, considering its ability is Screen Cleaner. And I was going up against one and... Say they play screens, I can just swap into Mr. Rhyme and it'll just clear all the screens. It's like a free brick break that you don't even have to use. Just swap in and boom, see you later screens. And now in the final spot, we have Incineroar right here. Incineroar has U-turn to kind of just swap out real quick. Flare Blitz and Darkest Lariat for stab and fake out to do some damage. Intimidate is its ability to drop the opponent's physical attack and he's rocking an assault vest so we can eat up some special attacks. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let me and Colton know how you guys do with it. And let me know for question of the day. Do you guys think Incineroar is going to take over the meta? I personally think he might. I think there's a big chance. I think there's a bigger chance of him taking over the meta than him not taking over the meta. That's kind of how I see it. Because he's a very strong Pokemon. He's very good. He was a beast in Sun and Moon. I think he's going to be a beast as well in Sword and Shield. But let's go, guys. We cannot use him on the rank ladder till March 1st, I believe. I think Pokemon announced that on their Twitter. They were just like, yo, March 1st. Why to hit rank battle? We can't go in there. Casual battles. I believe Pokemon was just like, yo, March 1st, you guys can use these guys. But for now, nah, we'll hold off a little bit. I think it's they're waiting for the next season to start, and then they're going to apply them all into the game. But here we go. Let's rock out with this team. Look at it. It just looks so cool. Incineroar's in the game. Incineroar's in the game. I was messing around with this team, and I saw a Mel Metal. Like, dude, it was like, bro, that thing's sick. There are so many cool Pokemon. All the new legendaries, well, not new legendaries, like a lot of the Pokemon that you could transfer that, are, that were in the game's code. You can see him on the rank ladder sometimes as well. But this team, we're going up, uh, up against a rather normal team right here with the Cinderance, Rhydon, Angie Slash, Gallade, Gyarados, and Charizard. I saw a team just like this before, but who are we going to lead? We're going to. I feel like we have the speed advantage if we just get the tailwind off. So let's go Whimsicott to lead the Incineroar. Let's get the Incineroar up in here. Let's get the Incineroar. Considering it has U turn, we can always swap out and go into a different Pokemon. Then who do we go from here? I feel like Mr. Rhyme could be very good. It does have freeze dry and it has so many coverage moves. I feel like he can rock out here. We could do it. We could do it. Because that can do work on the Gyarados. That can do work on the Rhydon. The Charizard. Like, oh, we. He could be a beast. Do I go Noivern? I could go Noivern. Or I could go Milotic. Milotic could be huge, too. Mm, who do I want to go? Let's go. Let's go Mr. Ryan. Let's get Iceberg Slim. Yo, I love these names, Colton. <laughs> and then we could go Milotic in the final spot. Or do I want my boy Noivern? Mmm. Now, let's just go Milotic here. But we got our Wimscott, and we have our in Incineroar to start us off. So I'm hyped for that. I really am hyped for that. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. We do rank battles there all the time. I know we're doing casual battles right here, or right now, to show off the newer Pokemon. But if you want to catch rank battles from me, head over to my Twitch. We stream it all the time. We stream it all the time, my guys. But let's go. Who's he leading? Charizard and Gyarados. Come on, use some new Pokemon. Like, why are you on the casual ladder? If, well, not, it's not even a ladder. Why are you doing casual battles if you're not showing off the new Pokemons? Um, I could go Tailwind and just you turn out. And then force that water attack over on my Milotic. Because he's probably, he might Dynamax his Charizard, to be honest. I think he's going to Dynamax his Charizard. And maybe go for a uh, Airstream over my Whimsicott. And then go for like a Waterfall over on my, my Incineroar. So we're going to actually U-turn my Incineroar out of here. Or I could fake out. 
I'm gonna fake out the Gyarados. And then I'll U-turn out of here. Because I seriously think the Charizard is just gonna Dynamax. Oh, Charizard is not Dynamax. We get a nice little free fake out. Let's get it. Tailwind's gonna pop here. I could totally U-turn out of here. Or I can Dynamax my Incineroar. What's the call? Flamethrower's gonna go over all my Whimsicott. That's chilling. That's fine by me. Whimsicott. Sash. Me sash him with the Whimsicott right here. We are gonna outspeed. I could double into the, the Gyarados and get him out the way. I might actually do that. Go for a Giga Drain? Do I do it? Do I dump on this thing? I mean, we are minus one. We are minus one. Darkest Light, I could go for it. I could go for it. Oh, my stat changes do not affect when I use just Darkest Larry on this own. So I could. Do I go for it? Oh, that could be huge. Or do I just U-turn? Or I can go for a Max Darkness. E. <laughs> what do I want to go for here? I say we do it. I say we Dynamax right off the rip. We get this Gyarados out the way. Come on, Incineroar. Give it to me, baby. Let's go. I'm hyped to show off Incineroar. Max Darkness going out here. Darkness Larry is such a good move, considering stat changes do not affect it. So, like, that Intimidate, if I would have just used Darkness Larry without Dynamaxing, it would have just did normal damage, like how it is when you first go out there. But look at this. Look how big our boy is. Look at that Flame Belt. My boy, Incineroar, looking sick in the Dynamax form. We're going to get this Giga Drain off here. Yo, so, yeah, yeet. He's probably going to air slash into my boy. Oh, yes. Darkest Larry is going to... Oh, not Darkest Larry. Max Dark Darkness is going to take out the Gyarados. That is huge. Bye-bye, Gyarados. Incineroar coming up, baby. <laughs> Bill, see you later. <laughs> this is dope. The special defense is going to drop of the Pokemon. So, do we think that Charizard is going after my... Uh, my Wimsicott? I think he might go air slash into... Nope. He's just going to take out my Wimscott. That's totally fine by me. That is honestly totally fine. We have our Tailwind set up. We have the Speed Advantage going on. And we have a Dynamax Incineroar in the front. In the front. Now who do we bring? We could bring... No, we're going to bring Milotic. Milotic is the better call. We have the... I don't want to set a Drought while the Milotic's here. So I think Max Darkness is just the call. Unless he really goes out into something I could just dump with a Max Flare. But Shiny Milotic pops here. We can just Scald up on the Charizard. Rhydon's going to pop out here. Ooh, who do I go? How do I play this one? I think a Max Darkness could take out the... Hmm. How should I really do this one? Because Scald. I feel like Scald's going to take out the Charizard, to be honest. And then I think Max Darkness could fly over. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to go Ice Beam over on the Rhydon. And then we're just going to Max Darkness over on the Charizard. Because the Charizard is minus one special defense. So that would kind of work out in our favor to go after... Well, no, it's special defense. I should have went with the Milotic. But he's going to Dynamax the Rhydon. Probably go for a Max Quake. I honestly think I made the right call because the Rhydon is more of a defensive tank. So if I hit it with a special attack move, we'll be chilling from there. And I think the Charizard maybe might take up this hit. I think it will take up the hit. But the Rhydon is going to be tough. It's probably going to come in with a Max Quake or something along those lines to take out my Incineroar. Max Darkness pops. Get it, baby. Get it. Do some work. Nice damage. Not bad. Not bad. It's fine. We'll be able to outspeed take out the Charizard next turn. But we are going to drop both their special defense, which is going to be huge. It's going to be huge, especially on the Rhydon. So the Ice Beam is going to fly through. How much damage are we doing? Oh, yes, sir. This is why I had the good call. I didn't want to go for a physical attack and move into the Rhydon. We can just dump it with a special attack move. Yes, sir. Let's go. That is going to be game one in a bag. In a bag with Incineroar. He's going to go for a Dragon Breath. We will eat that up no problem. Look at that. Easy. Easy. <laughs> he turned off the console. <laughs> Yo, dude, I love this team already. Incineroar already making people turn off their consoles. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. He's not having it. He's like, dude, I can't wait. Or he's like, I can't. I can't deal with these Incineroars in the game. He's like, I'm done once they come in rank battle. <laughs> that is honestly too funny. We're gonna, we are going to continue battling here. I can't even talk today. I've been like fumbling words and everything. Like, But we are going to continue battling here on the casual ladder. And try to get some more wins with this Incineroar team. Who are we going up against now? Oh, yeah, it's just a regular line, dude. That kind of looks, <laughs> kind of looks funny. Could be Evo light it. Um, he has the real boom. Incineroar, you're coming in here again. Incineroar looks like he does work. I can see him going maybe with the mudsill off the lead. I can always U-turn out and go into my uh, Milotic. So we're gonna go a little bit of Incineroar once again. I'm gonna go Milotic, and then in the final spot, who's coming in the final spot? I could go Rhyme. Rhyme has so much coverage on him, or I could go Diggersby. I'm gonna go Diggersby here. Diggersby, yeah. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. Incineroar OP. Incineroar OP. We're just marking out there. But that Ice Beam was huge. My trainer card's better than this, guys. I have a lot of people tell me, like, yo, change your trainer card. Like, I don't know. I'm on the borderline because 
For people who do not know, it's been a running joke on my channel since I started doing ranked battles. It's like everyone's like, change your card, and I'm like, nah, we're gonna keep the OG. But now I'm actually tempted to change my trainer card. But it does have a regular lining. Well, Galarian lining. It's not even, uh, Obstagoon. Alright, Intimidate is gonna pop. Good thing these are physical attackers. It's gonna be huge. Actually, Robo can go either way, to be honest. To be honest. Now we're just gonna, uh, do we really need a Tailwind here? I mean, I could set up the Tailwind. Kind of just go after his lining. And I'm gonna go into a nice little max flare. Get the trout going early on this roll boom. Is the roll boom gonna swap? I can totally see it swapping. But we're gonna get after it. Both my Pokemon should outspeed him, so I don't really have a problem. Who are you Dynamaxing? Are you Dynamaxing a roll boom? Please be a lining. That honestly would be hilarious. No. Oh, wait, it is! <laughs> Yo, it's the line, dude. I'm actually kind of scared. What is this thing running? <laughs> Look at his tongue, dude. That's honestly hilarious. <laughs> I was like, okay, there's no way he's Dynamax the line, dude. This big boy comes out. This is what you get for playing casual battles. <laughs> it's just like random things. But that honestly is hilarious. Let's go. Incineroar popping out here. Max Flare should be able to just dump on the roll, dude. Stab, super effective, and then we'll get the drought, and other max players will do more and more damage. Moon Blast. Oh my god, we almost just took that out with a Whimsicott. With a Whimsicott. Max Knuckles flying in here. He's going to boost our attack. That's super effective, but it's doing no damage because you're using a line noon. Come on, my dude. You're just giving us an easy win here. <laughs> At least the first match was like a, a good team. Like it was an actual team that we just marked on. Real boom gone. See you later. I don't even know if this guy's EV spread right here. <laughs> but that's the fun part about casual battles. You're either going up against somebody who actually has a decent team, or like something like this, where it's just like, oh, you Dynamax a Linoon that did like 20 HP on me with a super effective max knuckle. Okay. <laughs> Who's he sending out now? He's going to throw out the Dale of the Muds. Uh, I could just Giga Drain up on that. We do outspeed. There's no need for me to roll a Tailwind right now. Um, I'm honestly not even worried about that. Ooh, I could go for a Flutterby. Nah, Flutterby's not the call. I could go for a Flare. I'm gonna Flare up on the Mud Cell. I'm gonna double into this Mud Cell. Make sure it goes out. Let's see. Let's see. If this thing's not, like, EV trained or anything, or have no items, or doesn't have any items, then the, the Giga Drain could potentially just Punk on it. Like, did you see how much damage it did to the Line Noon? Leads me to think, like, dude, you're not, like, trained at all. <laughs> you just, like, threw a bunch of Pokemon, and now you're wondering why you're losing all the time. That's how it was when I was, like, really young. I was hopping on to, like, the... I forget, maybe, was it... It was, like, black and white? I think it was. I was, like, playing online battles with that. Or it was X and Y. And I was just like, dude, why am I just getting dumped by every Pokemon? And then come to find out, like, you gotta EV train them. You have to make sure their IVs are perfect. Like, that is how it goes. Like, there's actually a lot to do in, like, ranked Pokemon battles. Like, there's a lot to come or to build a team. It's not just like, oh, you pick these Pokemon. Like, oh, I have the same Pokemon as you. Why am I not doing as much damage and all that? Like, no, you have to train up your Pokemon and do some work. Okay, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage to a Mudsail who's supposed to be bulky. This Flutter Bike, we're gonna eat that up. Like, okay, <laughs> just stop. Just stop. This guy, this is game over. We're just gonna dump on him. <laughs> this guy should just quit. Just quit, buddy. You need an actual team. You need an actual team. Go, bye bye to the Dale. Gone. Hopefully we can get another actual team. I feel like this is what happened when we were showing off the Venusaur. We played like our first two matches. It was just like, or like our first match. It was just like, that guy had a cool team. A decent team that we conversed. And then the next one was just like, okay, um, what is this? Like, this is why casual battles are annoying. <laughs> can this dude leave? Or should I just run? Or should I just run? I mean, my Incineroar is doing some work here. We are showing him off, which is dope. He is very strong. He's very quick. He's just an absolute beast. Let's go. Let's just keep fighting here. Let's go into a... We're just going to Moon Blast. I'll be able to take out that uh, Cinderace with a with a Darkness here. Darkness should just be able to slap it up. But this is what I was trying to say. In this meta right here, in this game, it is a rather slow generation. It's a slow generation. So when you bring Incineroar in here, the speed is going to be phenomenal. That's why Trick Room works so well in this generation. It is just such a slow, slow generation. Just a slow generation. So when you bring Incineroar and all these other Pokemon in... They're going to change up the whole meta because they're a very speedy meta from Sun and Moon. So, it's going to be big. Incineroar is going to take over, in my opinion. Like, question of the day, I think he is going to. Moon Blast, take out the line and gone. Out of here. Gone, kid. Oh, we get a crit. We didn't even need it. We didn't even need it. He's gone. 
get this kid out of here. Considering we did like 200 HP to it earlier. And then we should be able to just take out the Cinerace. Potentially, potentially. Cinerace is going to go first. Pyroball is probably... No, it's going to bring me down to my Sash. Unless I, I'm not holding a Sash. Nope. Oh, I am holding a Sash. I thought uh, he knocked off some damage. I knew I was holding the Sash. I just thought he knocked off some damage. But now the Darkness is going to fly through here. Yeah, you Last move for our Dynamax Incineroar. And we say bye to the Incineroar. Gone, baby. Gone. Oh, we might have a sweep. We might have a sweep because we do outspeed. Oh, that is a sweep. That is all four. Let's go. Battle number three time. It's time for battle number three. We're probably going to show off four battles in this video just like the last one because the casuals are a little bit faster than the rank because there's not as much, like, thinking involved. You can kind of just, like, go in and just, like, show off your Pokemon. <laughs> But come on, I want to verse a Blastoise. I would love to verse a Blastoise. I have not seen one on the ladder. That or a Decidueye. Let's see what this guy has. Let's see what this dude has. Show me something new. Show me something new. Ooh, Venusaur. Oh, this is the team I use. This is the team I use. That is dope. Let's go. <laughs> this is the team that I use. I wonder if this dude got it from my channel. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. <laughs> you better see my name if you got it from my channel. All right, let's go. Because I know a fan did send it in. This team was awesome. I really did like it. We're going to go Incineroar Wimscott. I could see him setting up the Tailwind. But go ahead. Set up the Drought for me. Like, set up the Drought. Incineroar. We could set up the Tailwind. And then we can, if he goes uh, Venusaur, we can just dump on it with a Max Flare. I got to watch out for the... Ooh, Mr. Rhyme has Freeze Dry. Mr. Rhyme does have Freeze Dry. We're going to bring him in, him in here. And then final Pokemon. Did we go Digger Speed? I feel like that... Oh, yeah. That ground would be huge. That ground moves would be huge. Stab and his uh, ability gives him double attack power. What is it? Huge power. That is a cool ability. I'm, I am a big fan of it. Just a big fan of it. Well, let's go, Aaron. What's up, dude? What you want, fool? I seriously hope this is some guy who watches my videos and got the team from there. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> Who's he going to lead? Show me Venusaur. Heliolisk and the Sableye. And the Sableye. So we could be going for a sunny day, potentially. Um, and Cinnamon should be chilling. I am going to Tailwind right off the rip. Our Intimidate is going to drop the physical attack. So I know what he's running. He's running the Will-O-Wisp. He's running the Sunny Day. He's running the Ally Switch. Um, I couldn't Moon Blast. I am going to set up the Tailwind, like I said. He could be going for a Sunny Day. I'm just going to fake out the Helios. Do we see him swapping? Or Ally Switching? Maybe? Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I think he could be setting up the Sunny Day. For his solar power helios like i said we use this team we know what it is we know everything about it we know everything about it let's get it fake out popping out here come on i like the fake out on him i also like uh people were using parting shot on the incineroar which is nice it's pretty dope on him but i saw some people use a parting shot with an assault vest it was just like you can't use parting shot with assault vest like what are you doing my dude he's gonna dynamax the helios dang it man don't you dare take out my boy don't you dare take out my boy what is he gonna go into probably a max lightning on my incineroar that what he's doing or he could be going for a weather ball. But that would be fire. That would be fire if he, if he runs the sunny day right now. But let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Let's see how, how much our fake out does. Fake out, do 100 damage. <laughs> fake out. Decent for a fake out. Tailwind gets set up. I'm chilling. Now, what's this? He's got to be going for a sunny day, right? Why didn't that go first? Oh, no. I get it. I get it. It is Prankster, but we are Prankster and fake out has first turn priority. Okay, that's fine. Now, what's he going into? A Max Lightning? Yeah, Max Lightning. Probably all my Incineroar. Can he eat this? I mean, we are a Soul Vested. Yeah, we do eat up all day. So, he does have the Sunny Day out here. Do I just Flare Blitz and sacrifice my Incineroar? I could totally do that. Like, Flare Blitz will do some work. Solar Power is going to drop him down. Um, bum, 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 bum. I'm going to double into the Celioisk here. Just in case an ally switch. Hmm. Alright, I'm just double into this. Let's see what happens. I can see an ally switch happening. Or maybe a quash? Does it have quash? I kind of forget. It, yeah, it does have quash. It might quash me. Ooh! Come on, give me this flare blitz, baby! Helio is coming up. Yep, quash in my incinerator. Oh, it does not affect me. I am a dark type. Get out of here. This is why he is a beast. This should be able to take him out now. See you later. Get out of here. <laughs> no Dynamax for you. We still have Mr. Rhyme and Diggersby in the back, which is huge. And we have the speed advantage now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big plays. Tipper stays alive on five. On five. He, can, he cannot quash me. That is huge. That is huge. Something I learned about Incineroar just now. He cannot be quashed. He cannot be quashed. That is dope. 
Venusaur's gonna pop. Um, he might outspeed. Actually, no way you're outspeeding me. No way you're outspeeding me. Actually, I can totally see an ally switch. I'm gonna double into you. I'm gonna double into you. I can totally see an ally switch. Actually, watch this. I'm predicting an ally switch. He's gonna swap across. Venusaur's gonna go on the left side. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Because you're not outspeeding me. You are not outspeeding me. Show me the ally switch. Give me the read. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Gonna get a Moon Blast on the save light and a Flare Blitz to possibly take out the Venusaur. He eats his berry. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Probably won't take him out. I didn't think it was gonna take him out anyway, but still, nice damage. Boop! And the Flare Blitz is gonna sacrifice our Incineroar to take out this uh, Venusaur. <gasps> the Venusaur goes before? Who are you going after? You gotta be going after my Whimsicott. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Our Sash is gonna trigger. Wow, that, that thing's faster in the sun than a Tailwind Incineroar. That's nuts. That thing is so speedy. Flare Blitz. See you later, Venusaur. Look at that prediction, baby. Look at that prediction. Let's go. Let's get it. But I'm surprised how fast that Venusaur actually is. I know it's double speed in the sun, but a Tailwind Incineroar? Like, ooh, wee. That thing outspeeds it? Dang, dude. We're gonna go roll into it. We're gonna roll into our boy. Our boy Diggersby right here with huge power. And I know my, uh, my Wimscott will outspeed the Sableye. We're just gonna take that out. Ooh, now he goes into the Charizard. I mean, I have the Mr. Rhyme, which will be huge, but he's ice. He's ice. Uh, we're gonna go Moon Blast over on the Sableye. And then go for a... I'm gonna knock off this thing's item, to be honest. I'm gonna knock off the Charizard's item. It could be rolling a Life Orb. Is it rolling a Life Orb? Like, I know this team. What is it holding? I think it's holding a Life Orb. <laughs> I'm, like, thinking to myself, like, what... What items are these Pokemon holding? It, but I know what items they're holding. Oh, don't you dare will it with me. Dang it, dude. You're gonna drop my attack. But huge power is kind of just bringing it up. We're, we're still gonna be doing some mean damage. <gasps> Lumberry. Lumberry, yes, sir. Knockoff's gonna be doing some decent damage here. Moonblast is probably gonna take out the Sableye. Yeet. Get out of my face. See you later, punk. And it comes down to a 3v1. Incineroar came up clutch there. And that ally switch read was huge. That was huge. Knockoff. Boop. Give me that item. Look how much damage that does. Look how much damage that does. Solar Beam comes in here. Oh, he's going to take out my Diggersby. Uh, Diggersby, I'll see you next fall, buddy. <laughs> Solar Beam pops. Where are you going after my uh, Whimsicott? Nope. I was going to say, you going after my Whimsicott? Diggersby's gone. I still think we're chilling. We just get a Tailwind up. The Solar Power is going to take some health down. And a Tailwind does peter out. Okay, Iceberg Slim's coming in. What's the call here? Do I Tailwind set up? Or do I just double attack into him? So we think, I think the Tailwind's the call. I think Mr. Rhyme will outspeed with the Tailwind. And then we can just roll into a T-Bolt and end it. Plus, if we do get this uh, Tailwind set up, then my Wimscott will outspeed next turn and just be able to take out the Charizard from there. Unless he has Heat Wave. Nope. My boy, Mr. Rhyme, game over. Outspeeding the Charizard. 3-0. and 3-0 and with this team. Absolutely shredding. Absolutely shredding. Like I said, we're going to do four battles for this video because casual battles are a little bit faster. But that was actually a really good game. Going up against a team that I just used. So I kind of knew what to do from there. But Incineroar just dominated. Like, took out the Venusaur. We read the Allies, which, gone. We dumped on the Helio Whisk. He was out of there. It was awesome. Once he set up the Sunny Day for us, I was like, boy, you're done. You're done. Incineroar is too strong. He couldn't be quashed either because he's Dark-type. That is dope. That's why Incineroar is just so good. That Dark-type on him is huge. It's huge. But here we go. Fourth and final battle for this video. Let's get it. I cannot wait to show off the other starters, too. So now we have Venusaur. We did Incineroar. So now all we have to do is... I, I can't even pronounce that thing's name. Primaria, the Poplio's third stage, and Decidueye, and Blastoise. So three more left. But we're going up against this team. We played this one in the last video, didn't we? A little bit of Curse Law action with the Rhyperior. I'm going to be bringing in Screen Breaker. Screen Breaker, Mr. Rhyme. Who else? Who else are we going to bring here? I can see a Trick Room. Do I really need a Speed? That's the question. I don't feel like I need the Speed. I really don't think I need the Speed as much as I think I do. I could show off that Noivern. Noivern could be cool. But I really don't think I need that speed as much as I, like, think I do. Because this team's rather slow. So I'm thinking of just leading the Incineroar. And the Milotic. Mr. Rhyme for the screens. Hands down. Get in the back end, buddy. I would love to just pop out and break some screens. Um, and then Diggersby or... Noivern. Diggersby or Noivern. I don't really like the Noivern matchup here. Like we have Flamethrower and Hurricane, but it doesn't do too, too much. Diggersby has that uh, ground move and the knockoff and the ice move. He's, he's pretty solid. He honestly is pretty solid. So I am totally going to be bringing... Actually, the Flamethrower could be good on the choice specs, and he is fast. Yeah, let's show off the Noivern. Let's show off the Noivern. We haven't shown him off yet. 
so we'll get that in here. I'm bringing a Noivern mainly for the Corviknight. If he does bring in the Corviknight, we're going to need a special attack fire move to just kind of dump it and get it out the way. So it doesn't start bulking up and everything, get the defense boost. My Incineroar should be pretty good with it. Let's go. Let's go. 3-0. Can we go 4-0 with casual battles, my dudes? Rune Regis and Rhyperior. Okay. How are we going to roll out from here right off the rip? We have our Milotic in here, which will be special attacking, which is honestly pretty big. Honestly, pretty big. We can just throw a Scald or an Ice Beam. Probably an Ice Beam stab over onto the Viper. Do some work. Intimidate's going to drop his attack. But look at that shiny Pokemon. I wish the Incineroar was shiny, but that would be crazy if you guys have, like, shiny Incineroars right now. This is nuts. Darkest Lariat. We're going to max Darkness. We're going to be able to drop the special attack, be able to one-tap the Rhyperior, and potentially one-tap this Runerigus. Let's go. Ice Beam flying over there. Because you know he's probably going to go protect Trick Room, to be honest. Or if you're not protecting, you're... You're gone. You're gone, kid. Because <laughs> you're going to be minus one on the special defense board. And a stab ice beam while your special defense is l that low. It was kind of like the Rhydon. We just dumped on it with the ice beam. That's kind of like how the Rhyperior is. That's exactly how it is because it's the other evolution. <laughs> well, let's go. Incineroar with the Dynamax once again. Protect. Yeah, protect Trick Room. Kind of saw that coming. Well, hopefully we can just take this thing out and turn one. Let's see it. Let's see it. Stab Max Darkness coming in hot. Take him out. Oh. Oh, if we would have doubled into it. We would have doubled into it. I know the Max Quake is coming. That is rather scary. The Max Quake is going to come here. Ice Beam. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. He's probably going to take out my Incineroar. I could swap here. Because you know the ground move is probably coming in. I could go Noivern. Do I go Noivern? I'm honestly thinking about it. We, I think in the Max Quake's coming in here. I'm going to go Noivern. I'm going to swap into my Noivern. Hopefully, he's not dropping the rocks. And I'm just going to go for a Ice Beam over on you. I'm not too worried about the Runerigus. I'm not too worried about it. It kind of already did its job. It has a Trick Room up. -ne 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 -ne. There should be a G-Max move that takes away, like, Trick Rooms or anything on the field. So, like, weather conditions, all that good stuff. But we're going to say bye to Incineroar. For now, for now, he will be back later. And hopefully, we, ma we made the good read. Saying he's going to go into the... Oh, he didn't even Dynamax. Uh, actually, he might have. He usually shows after the fact. Let's see. Yeah, he is Dynamax. And show me the Max Quake coming in. I can just see, like, the look on his face if he's going for Max Quake. Like, no, he brought in a Noivern. Because <laughs> now he just has to watch it miss. But we're not sure. He could be going for a Rockfall. Rockfall could be a good play, too. They're both good on the center. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Show me the Quake Skis. No! No! <laughs> it's fine. I'd rather have the Incineroar than Noivern, to be honest. But I'm hoping this, uh... Oh, he gets a crit. I think it was taking him out anyway. Psh, all good. I really don't care. He gets a Sanshin Mullen. But I think this uh, Ice Beam could potentially take him out. I hope so. Minus one on Special Defense. Big Ice Beam coming in. Memento. Oh, you little biscuit. You little biscuit. Do me dirty like that. My attack harshly falls. My special attack drops. Oh, you little biscuit. That's some tough news. Ice Beam, y'all. No, show me the freeze. Honestly, good play by him. And he gets the weakness policy. Smart. Nice play by him. I'll give it to him. He deserves this win. He deserves this win. But he does have the trick and That is just tough. Um, What should I go into from here? Freeze dry. Hmm. I need my Incineroar. I need my Incineroar. <laughs> but it's tough. I feel like it's right here. He's just going to run things now. In all honesty. He's going to go out into the Cursula. A little bit of Cursula action. He has weakness policy. He's just set up here. No! <laughs> Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. But if you guys are hanging out with me in this battle, give me a little bit of hashtag fourth battle squad in the chat. Fourth battle squad. It's nuts that we are at our fourth battle. <laughs> Free strike could come up, but I think Focus Blast could maybe do a little bit more. Let's see. It's going to lower our special defense, too. Focus Blast does mean damage. I'm going for it. Get out of my face. We're going for it here. Focus Blast into a Confuse Ray. we got to Confuse this right here. That's our last chance. Like, I know he's going to dump on my Mr. Ryan, probably. Let's see. No. Please. No, my Milotic. Okay. Go on. <laughs> yeah, like I said, dude, this game's over. <laughs> he's weak this policy up. His stats are through the roof. Man, we would have took out the Runerigus turn one. That would have been huge. I should have saw the Protect. Like, I said it in my head. I was, well, not in my head. I said it out loud. I'm like, he's going to go for Protect, Trick Room. I should have just doubled into the Runerigus. That's going to be game. It all comes down to our boy Incineroar. 
I think I should spare his life. I think I should spare Incineroar's life. By not even letting him die out here. Incineroar. My boy! We are going to spare his life. Or do we take it like a man? We're going to take it like a man. Incineroar is the man. <laughs> going to drop the attack. We are going to Dynamax. And we're going to change up this weather. Imagine if we clutch this. That would honestly be probably one of the funniest things ever. Did I already Dynamax? Oh yeah, I, I, I already did Dynamax. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I already Dynamax, my boy. But if we would have read that Max Quake, ooh, that would have been clutch. Dang it. Bye, Incineroar. Give him the salute, guys. <laughs> Bye, Incineroar. <laughs> He's gone. No! Boop. Bye bye. We didn't get swept though. We didn't get swept. This Runaragus is gone. But 3 1 with this team. I took it to school on that last one. Trick is just so hard to play. You guys already know the deal on that one. But there we go. 3 1 with this team. Got to show off Incineroar and do some work. Incineroar is just an absolute beast. I cannot wait for him to come into the ranked battles. I think he's going to change up the meta a little bit and kind of make something new into the ranked battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Colton, thank you so much for sending in this team. One last time, if you guys want me to use your guys' mental teams, leave them in the comment section down below. Leave me a list of Pokemon. Tell me whether it's doubles or singles. And if you have the EV spread, send that in as well. Also, if you want a higher chance of me playing your team, send one in with Blastoise. Decidueye or Primarina. Like, those are the three starters that I need to play, and I hope to get a team from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone!